Welcome back to fourth grade math corner. We are going to be working on module 7, lesson 15. Okay. So today we're going to be discussing area. We're going to be using word problems to figure out the area of things. But I want to remind you that area is length times width. And when we're doing area, you're looking to figure out what's the inside portion. And that's whenever we do it, we usually do things like square feet or centimeters squared because we're trying to figure out what the whole inside portion is. Okay, so our first problem we have, oh, scroll down a little bit, Emma's rectangular bedroom is 11 feet long and 12 feet wide. I actually switch these, I need to switch them back, so. So, uh, 11 feet long and 12 feet wide. So, draw and label a diagram of Emma's bedroom. So this is Emma's bedroom. Emma's room. And we need to figure out how many square feet of carpet does Emma need to cover her bedroom floor. So I'm gonna remind you that to figure out area of just this rectangle, we're gonna go 11 feet times 12 feet. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give a second for you to catch up. Okay. So how I'm gonna do my 11 feet by 12 feet is Come on, uh, scoot. Oh, scoot in here. Move it off to the side. I'm gonna put ten plus one, and then ten plus two. I'm doing an area model. Ten times ten is one hundred. Two times ten is twenty. Ten times one is 10, 2 times 1 is 2, so we're going to have 132 is going to be our answer, so 132 square feet, okay. We are then going to scroll down. So I want to remind you that this is only for her bedroom. So she need 132 square feet to cover the carpet. But we're going to look at one that's a little bit harder because we always want to stretch our brains. <clears throat> and this was one similar to what we're going to be doing. Emma's rectangular bedroom is 11 feet long and 12 feet wide with an attached closet that is 4 feet by 5 feet. So we draw her bedroom. And then we're going to draw an attached closet. So we have a 11 long. I like to put feet there. 12 feet. Okay. And the attached closet is going to be 4 feet by 5 feet. It says how many square feet of carpet does Emma need to cover both her bedroom and closet? One way we can do this is individually. So... We can go 12 feet by 11 feet equals 132 feet. Okay. And then we're going to go 4 feet by 5 feet equals 20 feet. But because we're trying to figure out both, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to show you in a tape diagram. Because we're trying to figure out both, we have to add them together because we want to know the total number of carpet needed. So we're going to add 132, so 132 feet, 152 feet plus squared of carpet, 20 feet. Because we're doing area. So let's go on and check our. Which would give us. Lesson 15. Okay. So, 
Emma's rectangular bedroom is 11 feet long by 12 feet long. So 152 feet with an attached feet. closet that is 4 feet by 5 feet. How of many carpet. square feet of carpet does Emma need to cover both? For both sections. The bedroom and the closet. We've already done this problem. So remember how I would do it. Would I would start with knowing what I need to do. I want to find out with both rooms what the total number of carpets going to be. So on this side, we're going to do 11 feet by 12 feet. And this side, we're going to do 4 feet by 5 feet because we want to find the total or the number of square feet of carpet. Since we've already done this one, you can go ahead and do that one. You can fill in it on your own. Number two says, to save money, Emma is no longer going to carpet her closet. In addition, she wants one three feet by six feet corner of her bedroom to be wood floor. How many square feet of carpet will she need for her bedroom? Okay, so this is going to be starting back out with the 11 by 12 feet. And now we are going to have to take out a chunk of her carpet that is 3 feet by 6 feet. We know whenever we take something out that we are going to be minusing. So we know that it's going to be 132 feet because we've already solved that one in our last one. We now need to take 132 feet and minus it minus it by the six by three feet, okay? So six by three feet, I know that if I count that six, 12, 18, we're gonna minus it by 18. If you look, this is not lined up well for me to do. So I'm going to change how I've lined it up so it's better for my brain, okay? I cannot, is four, 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 minus 0 is 1, so square feet of carpet is going to be 114, because remember, she doesn't want to include this chunk here. She wants to make this hardwood floor, let's turn it brown so it's hardwood floor, and then we're going to pretend that she wants pink carpet everywhere else. Okay, let's scroll down. It says, find the area of the figure pictured to the right. Wow, that looks hard, right? What we're going to do is we're going to break it up into manageable chunks. Okay. So this is 20 feet down here. So if this one here is 20 and then there's this 12 feet in there, there's five and five. We know, the projection is off. Instead of saying 15, that this little section right here is going to be five feet, because five, 10, 15, on that side is gonna be 15 feet. So now, to figure out the area of this top one, Do one here. We're going to do 20 times 5. Okay. To figure out the area of this next section. We are actually going to go 20 minus 12, which is 8. Eight. For number 2, it's going to be 5 times 8. 
for the third oh, for the third one we're gonna do 20 times 5 right here and the 5 Once we figure out one, two, and three, we need to add them together. So once you get what 20 times five equals, five times eight, and then 20 times five again, you're gonna add them together, and that's gonna be the square feet needed. Okay, we have to break it up into manageable chunks. Down here says label the sides of the figure below with measurements that make sense. Find the area of the figure. So I'm going to go ahead and give you measurements that make sense to me. Okay, we're going to label this one 15 feet, and this one's going to be 5 feet five feet, okay, and then I'm going to label this one, mm, eight feet, and this one is going to be on the inside there, four feet. Okay. So just like the figure above, you're going to have to break it apart into parts that would make sense for you. My suggestion would be to go psh, psh, like this and then break it into three parts and add them all together. Number five says Perkins Park has a square fountain with a walkaway around it. The fountain measures 12 feet on each side. The walkaway is three and one half feet wide. Find the area of the walkaway. Number six, if one bag of gravel covers nine square feet, how many bags of gravel will be needed to cover the entire walkway around the fountain in Perkins Park? I want to remind you that the biggest thing with this is to break it into manageable chunks. Remember at first we found Emma's rectangular bedroom is 11 feet by 12 feet before we started it on the attached closet. Once you figure out what you need to do and you break into manageable chunks, it makes it a lot easier. Just like always, if you have any questions or concerns, please let your homeroom teacher know. I hope you have a lovely day.